You know, I don't know if I truly love Sideways, but I certainly like it. I suppose this was, vaguely, America's answer to something like Whitnail and I, though obviously not autobiographical from the writer-director. Maybe the source novel from Rex Pickett was intended as such more so. Maybe I'm not 40 enough yet to really get this film, for I look forward to appreciating it more, I suppose, when I am. Of Alexander Payne's 21st century output, this and Nebraska are the ones which I rather like, actually. Here's what I'll say about Sideways. Of the six films nominated for the Best Picture Oscar in 2004, the others being Eastwood's Million Dollar Baby, Haggis's Crash, The Ruler Inner, you may recall, Hackford's Ray, a decent film, I'd say, Forster's Finding Neverland, who would watch that? And Scorsese's Creatively Barren the Aviator, Sideways was certainly the best one of them. Apparently the novel received a sequel from the same author published in 2011, although Alexander Payne has apparently declined to direct a film sequel out of a lack of interest in doing so, which I respect. One only wants to repeat themselves so much, and he has, let's face it, and perhaps he doesn't feel as though the two characters of Sideways are his, and so he feels less creative obligation to continue their story. Maybe he feels as though the way he wrote them in the adaptation co-writing the script of one Jim Taylor, made them distinctly his own, and he doesn't feel as though a follow-up would do his take the justice he would like. In any instance, Side Rose remains a fine film, maybe more for wannabe cultured, hip cosmopolitan, East Coast socialite, Americans who read the New Yorker, Time, Vanity Fair, or The Atlantic, or just those who still indulge in The Wine Enthusiast. As for me, well, I, I like horror movies, and, well, I never drink wine.